For traditional healer Thomas Zogbelemu, this cocktail of natural remedies using plants, soil and a mysterious liquid is more efficient than a vaccine made in a lab. He says it can fight off even the most contagious and fatal of viruses, Ebola. The truth is we are all wary of vaccines. People have doubts saying it might even hurt them and attract more sickness. Honestly, I'm already vaccinated by traditional medicine. After a nurse died of Ebola in February, the UN delivered 36,000 Ebola vaccines to contain an outbreak in Guinea's forest region. But only 3,000 doses have been administered so far. Among those refusing to be vaccinated is shop owner Hélène Dede Goulivagui, who says she's more afraid of the vaccine than Ebola. I am not going to take the vaccine. I don't know what's in it. Why should I trust health workers? In 2015, more than 11,000 people died and 20,000 were infected after the virus spread from Guinea's forest region to neighboring Liberia and Sierra Leone. At the time, health workers wearing protective suits were attacked, kidnapped or even killed out of fear. Hospitals were seen as a place where people came to die, not to heal. Guinea's Ministry of Health says it's now better prepared but overwhelmed. We have a COVID-19 epidemic. Now Ebola on top of an outbreak of measles and yellow fever. We need help from our partners to contain the outbreak. It's in this lab at the Pasteur Institute in neighboring Senegal that scientists detected the virus from blood samples of relatives of the nurse that died from Ebola. They then put it inside this machine, the PCR machine, and multiplied it. And thanks to this genetic sequencing, scientists made an extraordinary discovery. Five years after the last outbreak, the same Ebola strain has reappeared. The virus has not jumped from animals to humans as previously thought by scientists, but survivors of the virus are carrying Ebola. Some are unknowingly spreading it. We need to keep a close watch on the Ebola survivors without stigmatizing them because they carry the virus in their bodily fluids. They are a key population to contain the outbreak. The good news here is that we have a vaccine that works. The challenge is not the lack of medicine, but the lack of trust in health services and communities where medical providers are too often absent. This has now become the main hurdle in bringing an end to the Ebola outbreak in Guinea. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera.